All right, so I built this giant robot and got it all working and everything, right? Super cool. Uh, now what? Do I stuff it in my truck and drive it around the country and show it off? Uh, charge people five bucks for a test drive, you know, milk it for all it's worth kind of thing? That's not really what I want to do. Um, it was kind of an experimental project and the, the value of it for me is everything I've learned and just the resources I've gained from doing it. Because before I started the Giant Robot Project, it was an impossible thing. I didn't know how I was going to get to the end. And I had to grow a lot and learn a lot of things to get to the end. And now I have all these capabilities to build big things that I never had before. Which is what I'm really excited about. That's the thing I'm excited about. Because now I have some other crazy big projects that I really want to do. Um, so yeah, I mean, the giant robot project for me, is it's, it's done. It's like when I, a lot of times I'll build experimental prototypes and by the time I'm halfway done, I've gained so many skills doing it that I could build something way better. But, I, you know, I want to finish it and learn everything I can. But then once it's done, I'm just ready to get on to the next thing. Maybe I'm not ready to get on to the next huge project just yet. I'm going to take a bit of a break first. Um, but th that's the value for me in it. Is everything I've gained uh, inside myself, in my brain and stuff. <clears throat> anyway, also I didn't get the greatest footage of uh, stuff, you know, on Giant Robot Day, because I had a lot, of, a lot to pay attention to besides the camera. So I invited this guy to come along who does documentaries, and he did a short documentary on me a couple of years ago. So he got lots of really good footage, and I'll put some at the end of this video. And right now he's doing a Kickstarter for uh, a documentary he wants to do on the giant robot project in my house and blah, blah, blah. Um, and he has some really good stuff. So if anyone wants to see that happen, go check out his Kickstarter. I'll put a link down here. I'd kind of like to see it happen. But um, anyway, what else do I want to say about the giant robot project? I don't know. It was like, it was this impossible project. And uh, for me, just getting it to work was that was the goal like I, I started with no capability to make this thing and then I made it and that that's the thing for me and I mean and now I just want to build something I want to build something else I don't want to I don't want to dwell on it and you know try to get attention and all this stuff from it I want to I really want to take those skills I learned in building the giant robot and apply them to something really awesome all right there's one other thing that's come up is, uh, do I want to sell the giant robot? I mean, to me, it's just an object now. Everything I've gained from it is within me. So, I mean, yeah, I would totally sell it. It's still sitting in the field where I test drove it at my friend's house. And she said, dude, you can totally leave it there as long as you want. It's, it's kind of cool. Um, so, you know, it might live there for a long time and be climbed on by kids and whatever. Or uh, if anyone wants to buy it, make me an offer. And, you know, I'll go fix up some stuff that, you know, was showing signs of wear and stuff like that. If someone was going to buy it, I would spend a week, you know, reinforcing things and making sure it all worked really well. But uh, other than that, yeah, I'm totally ready to move on to new stuff. Oh, I got watermelon. So, everything's together. I just have to go push the on button and then run over here and hope nothing bad goes really badly. Alright, I'm just gonna do it. Nobody touch that.
The wrench is still on there. All right, you're gonna get the wrench. Tires <laughs> out, didn't it? I don't think it. Oh, it's a little iffy. That's totally fine. I was, ho I was hoping those sprays weren't the. Dude, wires that's such feeding. a good thing. I only touched it for a second because I was like, I mean, I could just go. Or I could just... Anyway, go. No. <laughs> All right, there isn't anything else that's attached that shouldn't be there, right? I don't think so. All right. Was there any other thing I said, like, make sure I take that off before we start it? That was it, right? That was it. That was the one thing. <laughs> it's off right now. I, I hope that's the worst thing that goes wrong. Okay. Whoa. That was kind of weird. I'm not. Okay, I want to steer that way. I don't think you can steer with that much weight on it. Oh, no, I can. terrifying. <laughs> it worked though. I'm just gonna turn it off for a second. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think it was really good running at 100 volts instead of the 130 because like the first test drive was like super fast and scary. I can speed it up later if I want. Okay. Good for now? I chewed up your yard a little bit. Oh, oh, let's see. <laughs> it's not too bad. <laughs> 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 